put on the what else I need to say that. Right there. Oh, is that already here? Move yep. to approve the trip. I'm sorry. That's all right. Move to approve the transfer in the amount of $95,572 from account 0101120100500. Oh, I gave you the wrong one. My mistake. Okay. Which one do I want? It's 65. Is it the same item or is it a. It's labeled B. Oh, right. Okay, this is where you're saying the A is the B and the My B is the A on the agenda. I apologize. Okay. Alrighty then. I started it. Sorry. One more time from the top with feeling. I'd like to move to approve a transfer in the amount of $65,297 from account 0101120100500, which is the town payroll pending PR change, to various budget line items as itemized on the attached worksheet titled Town of East Lyme Unaffiliated COLA Increase 7115 to 63016, additional funding required. Second. Anyone? Second. Discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is the transfer of UPSEU employees 2015-16 wage increases, of which we have in our packet. We like to call that UPSU. <laughs> they like to call themselves that too. Um, UPSU. As, uh, as they were the new union that replaced AFSME. What, what does the <laughs> UPS stand for? Um, United, United Public, 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 Public Service Employees. Public Service Employees. So part there of AFSME go. or just? No. No, no. Different. No, they, um, they're kind of up and coming and growing in, the, um, in this, this field. So basically the same scenario, we What's negotiated a one-year deal. This is from this past July to June, June 30th. In the meantime, we hope to negotiate successfully a three-year deal, and we will be taking into consideration all the items that come up in a, in a typical contract, which is, you know, So this years action paid, is to move the funds long. for an agreement that's been made? This is already current, and we're transferring the... Union we just did the negotiated contract. Right. Correct. Was executed. So the amount that we need transferred is $95,572 from contingency over to the wage line. I'm Discussion? I like, uh, no, I'll make a motion, but I don't have the sheet. Or you can make a motion. I can do it. Uh, I'll make a motion. And then just read. Move to approve a transfer in the amount of 95572 from account 0101120. One zero zero five zero zero town payroll pending PR change to various budget line items as itemized on the attached worksheet titled Town of Upshoe contract increases seven one fifteen dash six thirty sixteen additional funding required. Is there a second? Second. Is there discussion? Again, I would just reiterate I'd like to look at this, you know, next mm -hmm. going forward. We'll have a it's Board of Finance representation going forward on yeah. it, as we've been doing now with Camille, but in the town side budgets and with the discussion on the non-affiliated employees benefits. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you. Our next item is a special appropriation CNRE fund 32 public safety fire department assessment. We forgot the firefighter. Yeah, we got one more in the middle. Under C. Oh, I'm sorry. I did. Thank you. Item C is a transfer of firefighter employees 2015 16 wage increases. So, this request is a, a transfer of $13,585 to cover the contract. Again, that money was put aside in anticipation of this contract. Um, in, includes FICA and Medicare um, salaries, the overtime accounts, um, and, and that comes from contingencies. This is a two year contract that we negotiated at the beginning of this year and backdated it to July 1st. They're working I without a contract. I saying that, and I do remember us putting money aside in the contingency for the upcoming. As we did with all these contracts that you're seeing tonight. This is not yep. you know, money we're asking for. It was money in the contingency for these items. Um, this is, uh, I think both sides uh, came out um, uh, with a good contract. It's a good, solid contract. I believe it's a 2% wage increase this year and next year. 
two two percent wage increase. Um, and uh, of course, there's all the FICA and the Medicare, and we're moving uh, the firefighters to a, a different um, health plan at the uh, at the beginning of the next fiscal year, as well. So, um, you know, we're we're slowly moving our health insurance plans to a different makeup um, because of the way healthcare is being treated in America, but the the costs are skyrocketing. So, um, is this just for this employees or the whole town's moving towards another? It's one contract at a time. Got it. Um, yeah. Discussion? Questions? Is there a motion? Uh, motion. I move to approve a motion to transfer 13585 from account 0101-120-100-500, town payroll pending PR change, to the following accounts. 4742 to account 0125 Two one seven one zero zero six one one salaries NFD firefighters one thousand two hundred fifty eight to account zero one two five two one seven one zero zero six one four NFD overtime three thousand five hundred fifty six to account zero one two five two one eight one zero zero six one one Salaries FFD firefighters 1260 to account 1025218100614 FFD overtime and 965 to account 10 <coughs> excuse me 0101114100121 FICA Medicare to fund the firefighters Contract increases for the 2015-16 fiscal year and forward to the Board of Finance for their approval. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a second? I'd like to second that. Thank you. Discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you, Jason. That was a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our next item is a special appropriation CNRE fund 32 public safety fire department assessment. Anna, thank you for sending that out for us for our review. So I sent, uh, yeah, we had that electronically sent because it was um, 40 pages long. I didn't think we needed to copy it for every commission in town. We thought we, we would also get a chance to really review it and see the um, the amount of work this, this, this group does. By the way, I'll say right up front, the, the principal's name is John Nickerson. That was going to be my <laughs> question. <laughs> We've actually sat down and traced our roots, and there's no connection at all, I promise you, at least in, not the last 200 years. Um, so and that is important, especially in, in public service, to make that announcement. So um, um, John is a, a lifelong fire, been in the fire business, I think ran the Millstone Fire um, Industrial complex over there for years was an old line firefighter but he um in the last several years has been in the business of training certifying that type of business but also doing the assessments uh, of firefighting needs in towns um this is needed i am thrilled that this is the price i really thought this would come in you know this would be a fifty thousand sixty thousand dollar study um uh, the amount of work that this gentleman has listed uh, on, uh, on his contract of the bringing in the gatekeepers and the plank owners in this town and having community conversations about what's needed. Basically, you're going to take this town and say, what are our needs? You know, we have agricultural down to seashore. We have rivers and ponds, and they need firefighting and life-saving support. We have a highway that runs through it that has accidents daily. We have big complexes like Stop and Shop, Gateway, and Costco coming, big schools. What are the needs of this town for fire apparatus? Then he's going to look at the makeup and the management of having two departments in this town and whether going to one department would make sense fiscally and you know, emotionally because we're, we're a volunteer fire department first, don't forget. So we're going to make sure we have everybody on board. 
I, I right now have the um, fire chiefs on board with this discussion. You know, this came up from a um, – we had our ladder truck discussion last year. A couple of you weren't here. But that was tough – tough to swallow spending 1.1 million dollars on a shiny red truck we knew we needed it but you know how well they have six more trucks coming up in the next seven years for your consideration and i and i said we need an independent look on this so when we so so we can look at the study and say what does the professional outside unbiased opinion say that we need uh and can we save money if we combine departments and share equipment. What does that do, do to the, you know, we have a, a firefighter who just had a heart attack. We had another one up the other side of town that had a stroke. Can they, can they swap out from different departments or different houses and, and cover each other instead of incurring overtime in one house and incurring overtime in the other because they're covering shifts within their own. So there's a lot that's going to go into this study. I don't want to blow it up. I want to set this fire department up for the next 20 or 30 years. Um, I've had a lot of discussions with career firefighters down here and from other towns. And um, I'm getting nothing but thumbs up about this study. I, I contacted uh, CCM about companies that do this. And they gave me a list from 2004 that hadn't updated it. So they, there's not a lot of companies out there doing it. I called a few. They're out of business. Uh, there's some in Texas and there's a couple in Tennessee and, and one in Kentucky. This guy's next door. He knows, our, he knows, he knows what it means to be on the shoreline in New England. Um, uh, I'm very thrilled. And I'm, I'm excited and I'm hopeful that you'll approve this. This will go to town meeting um, for final approval. Um, and he'll get busy right away. It's about a 90-day study. And I'd be happy to answer your questions. So... One of the questions I had, and you, you started answering it, um, I was concerned about the bidding process because we always talk about it, going out to bid, blah, 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 that we have this policy. So that's the first thing that jumped into my mind. Okay, he's next door. It's, it's X amount of dollars. What was there a, a, you know, a, a letter uh, for qualified uh, RFP? RF Q actually or P, you know, to, to mm -hmm. bid on this uh, since it's something we're going to be living with in the firefighting public safety community before. I did not go out for an RFP. Um, I, I found an uh, expert in the field. One, not like one yeah. in a newspaper. You can just. So you're saying that he's the only one in I've, the state and that CCM I found someone who does a majority of them in New England. Uh, in fact, when I called him, he was in. Um, Philadelphia, and he was on his way to Toronto, and he called me from the called me back from the road. This guy's all over, and he's doing the work. I, so I know he's qualified. You saw his resume, and you saw his, his uh, letters of reference or his contacts of reference. Um, I, I, you know, I could take a step back and go to RFP route um, and look for other companies that are even in the business. I think we're getting a fair price. I know the investment sixteen thousand dollars is going to save us hundreds of thousands on the other side. Hundreds of thousands. If we save, if we don't buy one truck, there it is. If we come up with, you know what, we need a paid fire chief uh, that's going to control the costs, control the budgets, make sure that we're getting the right certification, the OSHA test, and all that stuff. So liability-wise, we're covered because we got two volunteer chiefs right now. We're overwhelmed with, you know, just the risk of liability. And it's resting on their shoulders. So uh, I think this is the way to go. Gentlemen, do you have any questions? I had the same question about quotes, whether or not we have a ground rule for how much we spend without a quote or whether or not we competitively quote anything up to a certain dollar amount. Uh, typically for our construction projects, we, <clears throat> we do go out and do competitive bids for the, for the larger scope projects or get... Um, three written, three written quotes. Uh, we did not do any type of an RFP for this. We just. I don't think anybody's doubting that it's something we have to do, and sixteen thousand dollars doesn't seem like a lot for ninety days. Mm -hmm. It's probably. I just don't have anything to gauge it against. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jason. Yeah, I agree. I, I know if it was, it's much small, smaller amount of money, but within my business, if it was sixteen thousand dollars. And it's the town's money. 
Um, maybe you put out an RFQ or RFP, and if he's the only one who replies, then you know we don't have I mean, a it, we don't have a choice. I mean, I, I'm impressed with him, but I'm just saying if we're gonna the board of finance adhere to our policy um, that we talk about. Um, and it's nothing against what I see in terms of the proposal. I think it's a great proposal. Um, and I don't think it's anything you have to put in the paper. I think you just have to call around for a selectman, get a list, get mail them out. You, you must have had a scope because you obviously developed a scope because they're, they're, when I looked at this, I said to myself, this is great. He's responding to, I mean, it looks like he's responding to a set of questions of what you're, what you're looking for. So just duplicate that and send it to other people. Um, he's the only one in Connecticut. So, so I'm going to echo the sentiment of the rest of the board members. First, but before I do that, I'm going to say thanks for looking into this, Mark, because it's a big issue and it's a, it's a complex issue. And um, we really do need to take this on. I don't think any of us have the expertise no. to, to look at something like this. And we do need a professional. And I support your initiative and what you're trying to tackle here. I will also add, though, that um, just, just because I think the right thing to do is to get a couple quotes independently, even if it's, if we get a quote from somebody in Massachusetts, because I mean, I Googled a few places, and I know there's some places out there I didn't find. Um, I'm not sure if I found any in Connecticut, but I know that there's folks that do this. And just f for our responsibility with the taxpayer money, I would like to get at least two other quote, one, but I'd like two, really, just to see what we'd get. And we'll all feel better if we look at it. I mean, it would be great to use somebody who is local, um, but I think our duty really, and, and we keep saying this, we don't have a great or any purchasing policy that I know of which is why we've been keeping carrying it on our agenda. What about the Department of Administrative Services or fire training schools or places up there, people? I'm, I'm you know, I'm sure, you know, we might have, I'm sure we'll definitely have the same mm. person. It's just that if we don't start it's just the right way to go our eyes and crossing our T's Everywhere. on our end. I get it. Um, Everywhere I went, this was the referral back is, is the way to go. And I'm cons I don't want to get a guy who's too far in the system. It's a little too biased. Um, oh, you know, agreed. I want an independent, I want unbiased, no, yeah. no skin in the game Definitely. decision. I just uh, that's this. paramount. So we'll, we'll go out and we'll, we'll right. send some letters out and see if we get any requests back. That's fine. And, and like um, part of the scope that you're asking for, are we also looking at like the emergency management, like inventory of equipment? And, yes. Because. Uh, and the ambulance relationship with the town. It's, it's the right thing to do. Good. There's no question about it good. from right. my vantage point. Okay, good. It's the right thing to do. I just would like to see so some of the bids. Real quick. So you mentioned the DAS website, right? I mean, what's the, well, I, I, what's the disadvantage? Because of all the things that get bid, we see them on the DSA website. What is DAS? It's Department well, of Admin it's for the state. It's Department of Administrative there's Services. There's no downside because I think it's free. It's free. And for and municipalities, just, and you just... Plug it you in just there, plug it in, and, and it, it sits it there. And you'll either get a bite or you won't. But right. then you have it. Right. Uh, Waterford yeah. does it, uh, right. and some, and that you know I know that I know I never that's did right. it, but I mean that might be something that's an easier way to do it. Mm -hmm. Just put it on the DAS. Boom, right. that's it's it. Not, yeah, it's not. That doesn't cost the town any more. You know, man hours to spend writing letters. We don't want to waste money on the other side either. So I'd, li I'd like to propose that we just table this till we have something else to look at with it. Okay. If we have something else. But we'll if we don't, don't, then we don't. don't. We'll do our due diligence. We did our due yeah. diligence. Yeah. Yep. Thank, thank you. Our next item is to review the 1617 proposed budget review schedule. And I think Anna hand handed out an amended one this evening. The only difference being that we're, we are being asked to swap the Board of Education meeting from the 23rd of March to the 17th of March, and accordingly, the start times would Which change. St. Patrick's Day? I mean, that. Yes. <laughs> um, but I no other dates did have been did you have plans? subtracted. No. Um, but please note that when the Board of Ed meeting starts, it's at 7 o'clock. The other meeting times are at 6.30. That's fine. I, lo I looked at the calendar on all the dates, and. Uh, if it, I don't know if I need to be here. Generally, I am. I won't be here on the 21st and the 23rd. Well, so um, okay. I don't know if we cram more in the week before and the week after. Um, 
Well, let's. Um, let's I also had to talk to some several several of you offline, but there might be a, a situation where we're not bringing them all in. Uh, each department head, I could just review very quickly. We flip the book. Um, there's a whole lot of budgets that have nothing but wage and health insurance increases, like almost all of them. There's, we're not introducing any new initiatives. I mean, the public works gets very complicated because rock salt and plows and building roads and things. So we'll have, always have them. And the emergency management, always, those, those, those crews will come in. But you might take a look at a few, such as information technology or, or the assessor's office or zoning or planning. There ain't, there is nothing there. Right. Um, what so day is Mark? Can you not be there? The tw the twenty first and the twenty third you have scheduled, uh, and I cannot be there for th that week. Your proposal is certainly worth considering. I'd like and, to and, I'd yeah. like to discuss it when we have a full board. And Steve and, and Camille are not here, so. And you may want to look at the budget first before you yeah. start crossing budgets off. Right, but um, it's certainly worth considering. Yeah, and, and what that's days what are you available on the the, the the other dates? In other words, try to stack some if. When, yeah, when stack before or after. The ninth. Yeah, the week of that 14th, uh, we can stack a, another meeting um, on that meeting uh, that week, or the, the week of the 28th, we can stack another one in there. Mm -hmm. um, you have two deliberation meetings. We can always make one of those a, a review meeting. I don't know if you'll have a ton of deliberations. Well, do we need to solve this here? Because if we do, nope. we should. You, again, you can wait till you get the budget book. Uh, at your next meeting, okay. uh, take a look at it beforehand. I don't know if we could deliver I just it beforehand. To know, so when we get together, where we, where the potential stacking is, because you know, it, to accommodate uh, everyone's schedule and to allow the first election an opportunity to be here. So, did you feel like you should be here, Mark, or you felt like? Uh, Jen, I, Do you want to be here? I think yeah, I need we to be. Okay. Uh, we I think it's you know part of the whole thing. It's mm -hmm. selectman budget going to you guys, and I need to deliver each line item. And I've spent well the better part of the last six weeks. Especially if we're to deliver all the line items early, let us do all our sit down with the heads, and then have our yeah. final review yeah. after. That's big stuff. That's kind of where I'm saying that. Your call. It's yeah, we can we can talk about it. I don't again. think I'm here. The I think we'll either. accommodate your schedule. We'll wait on the ninth, right, Lisa, to, to have a full discussion and yeah. figure yeah. out. Well, right. To, to be honest, the, the uh, agenda on the twenty first contains the fire departments, and that is so. Yeah. One of our biggest departments. So we yeah. do. And the twenty third has want your participation uh, on that. Parks, recs, town engineer, public works. I mean, you need to. All right, and so I, we're going to have to revisit this on the yep. ninth. We've accommodate for other things, and this is an important. <laughs> you, you, oh. The police is a busy, uh, uh, you know, but yeah, the the Monday, the March fourteenth, and you'll discuss this next time. But that's a real. Really? After you get to the police, everything else is you know, like cake. So you might want to take the the twenty first meeting and put it right into the fourteenth. Um, well, except we're doing the capital plan that night too. That usually takes a little time, on the fourteenth. But we'll talk about it next. The last line item. Yeah, that one we can oh, take. That can be moved around. I like to. Okay, so bottom line is we need to revisit the schedule. And we will. Okay, so uh, we're not going to vote on that. I guess we'll wait till the next till the meeting on the ninth and work through those issues. Um, moving on to old business. Oh, wait a minute, Karen. Okay. And those agendas, you get them on the night. So something has to be approved for me to give you the agenda for your first budget review. Well, we don't, that's not a deadline on those, on that, on the ninth for those agenda items. We can always post agenda later, uh, agendas later. So I should suggest that. Well, it's only five days away. Can we approve the 14th and the 17th? There's special meetings. They can be, they can be posted. 24 hours in advance. Okay, it's a good point, Bill. Can, Can we, we approve, approve the 14th and 17th? I don't see why not. Yes. So, yeah. Karen, we're going to keep the 14th and the 17th. We already moved the Board of Ed to the 17th. Let's not move them again. Well, what we could do is, um, and that's just, that's in the same week, so we'll just keep that. Mm -hmm. Then at the 9th, we'll, on the 9th, we'll evaluate yeah. the rest of the schedule. Okay. And how we're going to stack and get stacked in the end of the month. Good so idea. do we need a yeah. motion to approve the 14th and the 17th agenda, or is that just the... I don't know. Yeah. Karen, do we need to approve that? I don't know what protocol is. I would think so. I don't, I think it's just, um, just a meeting of the minds more than a 
uh, vote on out. when you're going to have a meeting. <laughs> meeting <laughs> meeting outside. Think you just agree. Mind you, know thyself, Bill. It's powerful. You could take okay. a motion to a, to accept. I, the, I think we're good for, yeah, the the for that. Yeah, the waste perfectly good motion. <laughs> For those yeah. two, so we're going to we'll go forward with the agendas for March 14th and March 17th. We don't know yet. We don't we're going to discuss yet. it on the no. no. I no. Did, I, we decided not to stack anything on the 14th. So if we're, when we're stacking, it's going to be on the, the end of the month. Yeah, I think we or think the 14th and the, the, the 17th are fall. April 17th is vacation at the school? Yeah, April 17th to the 23rd. April 17th to the 23rd. So we can, is that not enough time, Anna, to, if we had to clean up? Well, if well, we look at the meeting on the 28th, that's kind of a late agenda, really. Yeah, we can really put everything there. Yes, yeah. and we'll make Just put it, it's loaded up. So, is everyone in agreement that we can keep the uh, the 14th and the 17th where they are? Sure. Right. Yes. We'll look at the, the rest of the meetings when Steve and Camille are here so we don't have to go through this again. All right. And yeah. suggestion to stack on the 28th and use yeah. the 4th, too. Okay. Thanks. Next item on the agenda is old business. Our first item is purchasing policy. <laughs> okay. Well, we, we got an idea. So yes, do. let me just ask a question on that. Rather than reinvent the wheel, because I'm always an advocate for stealing other people's things, mm -hmm. is there a town that we collaborate with that we can just scam their policy? Because that is kind of what maybe. we we call it benchmarking. We don't call it scamming. I know. I call it benchmarking too. But I, was, I say benchmarking a lot. I'll make an was, inquiry oh, to um, the cog. <laughs> to uh, d different CEOs at the COG. I've heard a few towns that have such a stringent um, policy that well, we don't it, want to it paint inhibits. Ourselves in a corner. Yeah, that, and that's the issue, is we do have a system that does work, and generally we haven't had any problems. I think, they I think that's a problem policy. one, frankly. Uh, and they have an RTM, or they have a, the council, and then they have um, the three-member board. Of, the they do things different. But I'll tell you what, I'll look in through the COG somewhere. and see if they have some written policy from other towns. So we, I'll be up there tomorrow yeah. at a legislative meeting. Because we so also I'll have ask. a sole source thing that we do if it is only one source quoted, then there's a justification for it where I work and right. we have a, a separate thing that says you know what this guy here is the only guy that does this kind of stuff so here's a letter but, that right. I know that's where you just were trying to be at but, there but we go. don't have any anything to back that up well we'll just create it I'll I'll, I'll inquire it with a cog Thanks. that's what I want okay. to hear appreciate it um, you. <laughs> I think our next <laughs> item <laughs> Do we have anything to add to the next item under old business fire department overtime review? I do. I do look at them every month, um, and I have put the chiefs on on notice with regards um, to the accounts. One of them, it's the part time account, and the other one, it's the overtime. It's so the part time the account now is twelve thousand one hundred twenty eight expenditures. Well, that was but they're highlighted on that report because it was in excess of $10,000. But each of the fire companies has had an extenuating circumstance this fiscal year.